Are we getting moving train? Is a lever action long ammo rifle about to become the new meta? What's Abe Lincoln doing here? And why is there a wizard staff in our news feeds? Well, don't worry. I'm here to answer these burning questions with personal opinions and heaps of conjecture. <laughs> Moving trains and hunt showdown. We love them, we want them, we should get our obsession evaluated by a professional, and we probably won't get them, but maybe we will. Trains have been featured more and more frequently in the countless hunt showdown event teasers and trailers in general, and I'm a pro at reading between the railway lines. While we've already been told that they are just being used for atmosphere, I can't help but wonder if this is another rain situation, where something we were told wouldn't or couldn't happen ends up, well, happening. Now, I don't believe we'll be seeing them introduced as part of this upcoming Desolation's Wake event by any means, but I still hold out hope for high-stakes cowboy shootouts on the top of Bayou traversing locomotives. Maybe after the engine upgrade. It's delusional, but I can't really help it. The Mako 1895 Carbine, on the other hand, is absolutely confirmed, and this gun is a pretty unique entry in the Hunt arsenal. It's a lever-action rifle compatible with the levering trait, but it uses long ammo, high-powered, and root and tootin' friendly. Unfortunately, I don't think it will be challenging the Mosin or LaBelle for their place in the long ammo hierarchy. If I had to guess, the damage will be somewhere close to the crags, and the levering will be the same or worse than the Centennial. If for some reason I'm wrong and they make the levering for it better than the Centennial, I'm definitely going into debt from all the stamps I'll need to buy to send a myriad of strongly worded letters. And based on the visuals alone, the Mako appears to be Crytek's version of the Marlin 1895 Trapper, which leads me to believe that the ammo capacity will likely be 5 plus 1, because I can't imagine a long ammo rifle that benefits from levering, however poorly, having any kind of high ammo capacity. The Mako is also getting a claw variant, which despite my opinion on the value of primary weapons with melee attachments, I will admit does look pretty sick. Abe Lincoln, as we're calling him, is likely a new legendary hunter, at least one of two. You might have missed it, but there's a short glimpse at another suspected legendary hunter we got to see in the Desolation's Wake trailer. And another skin you might have missed is in this shot, or is this shot, which I am assuming will be a legendary skin for the full-sized antidote shot. Now, this is very speculative, but there's another potential new weapon that can be spotted in the first teaser for Desolation's Wake, and the popular consensus is that it's none other than the Colt Lightning, which would be Hunt's first pump-action rifle. Time will tell, of course, if this proves correct, but I have a sneaking suspicion that we're in for a real treat. The Hermit Stick is a legendary skin for the baseball bat, and is being added as a homage to one of the Crytek partners, Hermit, who religiously streams Hunt Showdown gameplay over on Twitch. You're likely more familiar with him than me, but if you aren't, you should check him out. I'll put a link in the description. It might surprise you to learn that this is kind of a big deal. If memory serves me well, it's been a long time since Crytek has added any new partner skins. And if I ever have the honor and opportunity to become an official Crytek partner, this means that I might actually have a chance at getting the frog theme Lamat I've always wanted. Now I'm setting myself back a bit from that goal because I'm about to complain about something I think at least a few of you are with me on. Because I swear to Dennis, Hunt Showdown has more events than Supernatural has seasons. First, we had a few spread out standalone events. Then we got back to back trilogy events. And now the trilogies have epilogues? Or prologues next? Please, no number of new guns needs this much set dressing. I'm not drowning in a tide of shadow, corruption, or desolation. I'm drowning in a goddamn tide of FOMO. What, Widow Misto Game Development Studio needs consistent revenue to ensure continued support and improvement of Hunt and future projects? Uh, okay, I guess that's fair. But man, could I use a break. Fucking subscribe!